Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. If keto is the rock and roll of diets, then cauliflower is the rock star. We use cauliflower for so many things on keto. We use it to make pizza base, we use it to make hamburger buns, we use it to replace potatoes and we also use it to replace rice. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make perfect keto cauliflower rice. I realized that I had no independent cauliflower rice recipe. I've always used it to make other dishes. And since it's the start of the new year, I said what better way to kick off than to show you how to make keto cauliflower rice. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. So the first thing you're going to do is take your cauliflower and you're going to prep it and get it ready. You're going to do that by cutting off the leaves and the stalk of the cauliflower Basically, you want to expose the florets so that you can reach them easily. And if you've got good quality leaves on the cauliflower, you can actually stir fry and eat them and you don't need to waste them. Anyway, once that's done, it's time to separate the florets from the stalk. You basically want the cauliflower florets so that you can rice them. So make sure that you cut them off. Of course, you can use part of the stalk as well because that is fine to eat and you don't need to waste it. Once that's done, you want to put your cauliflower in a colander and then you want to rinse it under some water and make sure you wash it really well. Scrub off any dirt if there is and get rid of any worms that you might find in the cauliflower and then just let it dry. Now guys, there is more than one way to rice a cauliflower and I prefer to use the food processor and I'm using a grater attachment that comes with my food processor. So all you got to do is take your cauliflower and then grate it using the food processor and it does all the work for you and within a matter of seconds your cauliflower is riced and it is absolutely ready to use. It's literally that easy and as you can see because you're using the grater attachment you actually get cauliflower that looks like rice because you get these little threads of cauliflower which is like rice. You know what I'm saying? Anyway you get the idea so that's one way to prepare your cauliflower rice. Now if you don't have a grater attachment on your food processor, you can use the regular blade attachment. Just put that on your food processor, put the cauliflower in the food processor and then just blitz it up. Now of course once in a while you want to scrape down the sides while blitzing it because things get stuck. But all you have to do is that and then your cauliflower rice is ready. And if you notice when you use the blade you get more of a sort of couscous consistency. So this is less preferred by me personally because it's more like couscous and less like rice. But hey it's got its applications. And finally if you don't have a food processor you can just use a regular hand grater and grate the cauliflower by hand. Now I personally don't like doing this because it can get quite messy but if you have no option then well this is what you got to do. And that's pretty much how you make riced cauliflower with the grater. So that's it folks. Those are the three ways you can rice cauliflower using the grater attachment on your food processor, the regular blade which gives you more of a couscous consistency and just a regular hand grater. Now it's time to cook the cauliflower rice and we're going to get a non-stick pan on the stove and to that pan we're going to add in a nice knob of butter and some olive oil. The reason we add olive oil and butter together is to prevent the butter from burning. You just want to let the butter melt and coat the entire pan and then we're going to add in our cauliflower rice. And using your spatula you just want to spread the rice around the pan and then what you want to do is just season it with some salt. That's all and give everything a good mix and then spread the cauliflower rice around the pan. You want a thin layer of rice. You basically want to cook it over as much surface area as possible and you want to cover it with a lid and cook it for five to six minutes or till the cauliflower is nice and tender. Of course every minute or two you want to make sure you lift the lid. You give everything a good mix so that you make sure nothing is burning and nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. 
and you might need to do this once or twice and whatever you do my friends don't use water because then it makes the cauliflower rice very soggy and wet and not fun anyway cook it till the cauliflower is nice and tender don't worry if it gets a little bit of color on it trust me we'd rather have a little bit of color on the cauliflower than have a wet and soggy cauliflower and that's pretty much it my friends your cauliflower rice is ready it is really that easy to make cauliflower rice. It looks pretty good and now you can enjoy this with any of your favorite keto curries. So folks, that's how you make perfect keto cauliflower rice. And this episode, you won't see me tasting it because, well, do I really need to? So I'm not going to taste the cauliflower rice, but um, I do want to let you guys know a few things. So. Uh, I personally prefer using the food processor as I mentioned because it gives you the most rice like texture and that is perfect for when you're making say like a biryani or a fried rice or any of those kind of dishes. The couscous kind of cauliflower the one we got using the blade attachment that is actually perfect for when you want to make things like a cauliflower pizza crust or a cauliflower hamburger bun. So they have their applications and you know what I'd love for you to tell me what are some of your favorite dishes that you make with cauliflower rice and you know what apart from ricing cauliflower you can probably try this with broccoli or you could even use cabbage as rice. So anyway that's enough jibber jabber from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen and I will see you on the next episode. Cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, I've got a ton of recipes using cauliflower rice on this YouTube channel. So make sure you check them out. And of course, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite cauliflower rice dish. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next episode. I already said that, but I'm saying it again. Does it really matter? Anyway, time's up.